Down, saves him from a three and out. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 right, at the 49 yard line. Sack him back at the 42. Nick Perry in there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. I'm one of the... Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Green, 39. Now they try the right side here. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of a yard, and they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Good opening quarter for him. Remember, he had the sack earlier. Now a tackle for loss, another tackle for loss. He's really making it tough on the play caller, though, isn't he? Because it's one thing to try and adjust when a guy is disrupting your running game. But when he's messing up your passing game as well, you have to devote at least a second guy to him to try and keep him away from their plays. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. The confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they look at the sideline thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. When you think of Mike Daniels, you think of strength. Hard to knock off the football. But surprising quickness and ability to move and evade people. How about that play there? Well, he can squat 600 pounds. So that's how he caught people's attention coming into the league. And he caught our attention right there. And they'll go to the ground attack here. And a short gain here down to the 22. Give him a yard on the play. And he's definitely short. It'll be fourth down in a few inches. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback it makes it very, very difficult for them in that situation. So an opening drive field goal maybe doesn't whip this crowd into a frenzy, but I think that they will take the early lead. There's no doubt about it. They will always take the early lead, and maybe that celebration comes later if they play well and they can break things open. But right now, this is all about letting go. the offense just get settled in. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So here comes the Packers offense now onto the field. And a look here at their go-to guy under center. And what I'm looking for from him today, the things every quarterback is looking to do, lead his team to a victory. Doesn't matter whether he's throwing it, running it, handing it off, however he has to do it, as well as exhibiting some leadership, Detroit! Detroit! that's what he's trying to accomplish. Play action. They'll throw. And he finds a man with a crossing route. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. They'll drop the throw. 
And he fires oh, on the two. Intercepted. Picked up by Tahir Whitehead. And he's just across midfield and down at the 49-yard line. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that is going to be pulled in one handed. Wow. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. A big play there. 49 yards. And the Raiders add six to their lead. for the extra point, Giorgio Tavecchio. Tavecchio good on the extra point, and the lead grows to 10 0. At the end of one, 10 zip our score, EA Sports NFL Sunday returns following this. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Ready to go now in the second quarter. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. It's the Raiders in possession of the football. As we'll see one following the score on the final play before break. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Packer offense now ready to get back onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Attack. We'll see how they attack him here. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. There's a completion to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. Speed. I mean, the flat-out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he had been able to haul that one in. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. And an alley to run. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. Pass interference. Defense. So cancel the and interception, pass interference. And you know what else gets canceled? The return yardage. Makes the play, but now it's all for naught. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Good, good. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. They give him 12 yards and a first down. 
Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. And he will find his man on the outside. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination looked pretty good. How about that? They, they, let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. They'll run it now out of the gun, and he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. They'll look to throw here. Uh -oh. Touchdown, Packers! Jimmy Graham, a seven-yard touchdown. I love round. it. And the Packers have cut it back within a score. Well, so it goes for a rookie quarterback. He had the INT earlier in this first half, but he bounces back with a touchdown pass. And you have to like the mental acumen, the toughness, the fortitude of him, because oftentimes for a rookie, you throw an interception early, you're taken right out of the game, or mentally, you check out a little bit. Give him a lot of credit for bouncing back. Crosby with the extra point, and that'll cut it to three at 10-7. So the drive there took six plays, and the result, a Green Bay score. Crosby on now to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Raiders' offense now, they trot back out. They're starting to pull away with this one. Early on that first quarter, they didn't look so great offensively. What has changed? Sometimes it's just a matter of doing what you plan to do better. Sometimes you just put that all together and you execute. Other times, it's just in a simple adjustment in your game plan finding a spot that maybe was a little weaker than maybe you thought, and going to that. So many different things, so many different ways, but right now, you gotta like what they're doing. They have put distance between themselves and their opponent. Looking to add on here in the second quarter. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. And they'll go on the ground. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. The Raiders on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and nine. Hurry up, here we go. Green. They'll set up to throw. Finding a safety valve here, that's complete. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. They'll give him a yard on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion. And what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And for him, it's been pretty limited involvement down on the scoreboard. Maybe time to turn to this guy. And you know me well. Winning games to me means starting with the running game and continuing to press the running game. Maybe you go away from him a little bit now, but the bottom line is he hasn't touched it enough to make a difference. Well, they haven't established that running game yet. The question is, will they? They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Give him three on the play, and it'll be a second down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And some space here. And he'll be 
taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gunn alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes the timeout. And now we're set to get going. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. The clock rolls as the Packers look to hurry things up. And they'll run it here. And he gets it down to the 32. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. And welcome back, the offensive unit. They took the timeout, and now they get set to line up as we resume action. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Hey, 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 hey. Ah! Now back to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And this time not quite to the 30, it'll be down at the 31-yard line. Just a yard on the catch there, it'll be second and nine. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it. So on comes the field goal unit. From the right hash, this from 48. And Crosby puts it through, and that will knock things up here late in the first half. So they boot it through, and now we're all square after two quarters of play. And what's that great term you taught me? They're level, right? They got back to level. Now they get to go back in the locker room, regroup, and start over in the second half. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it now. So thanks to the late field goal, we are all tied up heading to intermission as we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. But they are all even to this point. So to see if either side can pull away, We'll get you right back out to Brandon and Charles for the start of the second half. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. Fielded about a yard deep. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. The Packers offense now heading back out onto the field. We have not seen much on offense from either side. These last few drives, it has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. They always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to. And if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. And on the ground they go, the running back. 
And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Give him three on the play, and it'll be third down. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. And he's got his man on the out round. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The 13 yards that time at a first. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness, there's a premium for all of that now. On first down, they'll run it on the draw play. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. They'll look to throw. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he's got the first down yardage yes. before he's brought down at the 42. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You got to be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. And he's taken down inside the 30. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral, also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. They're going to look to throw. The connection made, it's Graham. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And left side here, it's Graham. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide it. But the tight end, and oh, he's going to take it in. Touchdown, <laughs> Packers. A great play there. And the Packers have moved out in front. Solid like, come back up front. Back. Really just a and solid job all the way around to get that one in. That was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run. End result, six points. Touchdown. Crosby connects on the extra point, and that makes it a 17-10 score. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And the capper that put it in the end zone, a run of eight yards. Crosby on now to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense first time. I keep checking my phone, guys. Three, I ordered and we'll food and it's taking and I can't wait to see longer than it should. Planned because some teams script to start a half. So. 
Other teams just go, okay. okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some more Oh, and it's, and it's one picked up. Picked off around the 41. Damn it. That could have been a pick six, too. That could have been a pick six. The rookie picked off the oh, rookie. Uh, at least we got the ball back. What? They're pretty familiar with each other. It's not like when I was growing up and the dinosaurs were roaming the earth and you heard about a guy somewhere. Now they run into each other at camps, going through high school ball, recruiting, college games, all-star games, you name it. A lot more familiarity with each other. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He couldn't oh. quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. A lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Only a yard on the pickup there, so it leaves him needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. Nowhere to go here. He wants the football. And the Raiders have recovered. Well, partner, they went empty set there. No backs in the backfield. All receivers out in the pattern. And in this situation, you know what the quarterback has to do? What? And let me guess, I can't challenge, can I? Act as his own blitz control. Yeah, he's got nobody else there to and protect. The nobody else there to protect, which means he's got to get rid of the football and absorb the hit, but not go down this, in front of him. Had this been 2K5, the only you challenge it, even if there's nothing to challenge. He looked to throw, and it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Well, it's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the that. equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and Green, ten. Green, 39! Looking to throw. In the middle of the field, he's got Nelson. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Nelson's first catch. Good for a first down. That connection with Jordy Nelson coming on the drag route. Hard to believe that he was a walk-on. Yeah, but Kansas he, State. It's so hard to believe that people missed entirely on him. But how about his ability to work and run any route you need? And that completion is evidence that it doesn't matter what you call, he's going to find a way to get open. Walk-on at Kansas State. Now the locker rooms are named after him there. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. It's Raider football here, but they're on the short side of the scoreboard right now as we begin the fourth. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays harder to move it. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. Eight yards there. Almost sacked too. Down. I almost and the sacked big guy him. My guy was the ball like right the there. Backfield. And oftentimes, it's quite a surprise to a guy playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. Now whistles here, and I believe one of the Raider linemen might have been moving. False start, offense. 
And yeah, maybe they were coming with a blitz that time, and it caused a jump. I think if we saw Still it, first down. you know that they saw it. Might have been a little discussion down there. Bad guys coming. Pick them up. Pick them up. And someone jumped. And they'll go ground game here with the tailback. And yeah, able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up second down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity, usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And they'll go on the ground. Looking for a cutback. Hey, guys, um, there I got to go into the, the line door. Scrimmage. My food's here. So they'll say no gain on the play there. Pause it real quick, and then down. I'll get the food, and then come right this guy has to be a Just hold on. Moving we'll be up to the right back. Because the I'll be right back. Guys, I am back. Sorry about that. So I'll finish up this game and then uh, let me go eat. So. He just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us and he's like, go. hey, these uh, and it's getting down there, so they said, might nah, go man, for it. They don't get first here. He is a well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. He'll drop to throw. And almost yes. picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. Oh, yeah. I guess they're in a situation okay. now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one Here we go. could very easily have been intercepted. And if it does get picked All or up, nothing. that could possibly seal this one. Now let's go. Blue Liner. Blue Liner. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. Come on. Shake him off. Shake him off. Oh, we got line. it back. That's what matters. <laughs> Brandon, offensively, this has been a tough day for him. Trying to find a place to throw Second the ball. Second interception thrown by difficult. Ken Steele. I've got to give a lot of credit to the secondary, especially the corners who've had the receivers on lockdown. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. 
but you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays they are going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal, end the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. He'll look to throw. We were outside, and it's complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A really good pickup of 28 yards. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because they'll have all that time to find someone open down. Look, he's like a rotisserie. So, long. so maybe they want to go through rotisserie the zone. Rotisserie like, like, more pressure. <laughs> Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. Right. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that fuck? game in Super Bowl minutes. 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. So it's Packer All football right. here as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Right, I'm in field goal range right now, so. That three-point cushion. And they'll run it here. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. All right, so the timeout over, and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. And on the ground they go with a running back. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. Please don't let me pull Russell Wilson at Super Bowl 49. Now it looks like he'll throw here. This will be caught just inside the 10. The lynch. <laughs> now the Raiders going right, to bring their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. I might throw him. Oh, let's try. He'll look to throw. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. All right, here we go. When you get your backs in the shadow of your goal line, you've got to be physical in that situation because there's not a whole lot of space, not a lot of wild plays that can be run there. Let's put up or shut up time oh. defensively. Nice okay. job just to make sure they well, didn't complete it on that play. It's a pickup of three, but it brings up what will be an interesting fourth and one. When a good play is made on defense, oftentimes leverage is the key to everything. <laughs> Defensive line not getting turned. All the other guys making sure they're in the right spot. And on that play, they were able to stop him short of a first down. Right over here. And Crosby puts it through. And they double him up here. That makes our score 20 to 10. So barring something extraordinary here in the closing stages, that field goal should just about put this one on ice. Yeah, I mean, we've got to find two scores. So, you know, we're not going to exactly move it over there yet. It can be done, but boy, it's going to be a little bit of a stretch for them, isn't it? Yeah, they would have to move incredibly quick and have some luck, too. After the made field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. 
This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again. But they can't worry about the last two points. <laughs> the only thing that matters is scoring quickly. Then they'll take it from there. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he will find his man on the outside. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Because they're going to do whatever they Clock can. management, definitely I mean, critical it's here. It's going to take me longer to eat my dinner because now Absolutely they have the ball. They're going to do whatever they, they can. The tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Stop clock. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Back to throw here. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe right, you can expect more passes like that downfield. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He's going to let it fly. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Tried to go for the big one there on second down. Now they're likely down to their final two plays. And you know they've got to keep going for the big shot, right? So defensively, you play what they call top down. Nothing behind you. Make everything get completed in front. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Green, 39! And that will be incomplete as well. And I think we'll probably see him go for it here on fourth down. No reason not to. Down a couple of scores. They have to try and make something good happen. There's so just another incomplete pass. So you have to get the ball back and then put it in to this game. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Oh, damn it. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. They keep the game alive, at least for the oh, moment, it, as it's a first it. down. And down to just 21 seconds now as he spikes it to stop the clock. to throw now on second and ten and on the left sideline he caught it but out of bounds according to the headlinesman incomplete so the ball a little late getting there and it's all right here we end. go out routes are always timing routes and if the timing's off just a little bit it can really throw off a play look like he let him a little and too much yeah, that was a fraction of a second because he caught it just didn't out. stay in bounds and it's knocked away and incomplete Credit the secondary and credit the defensive game plan. Ash They've chance. been in his hip pocket all game all right. long. They understood the coming in that he was a big time receiver. Here we go now. Blue Lady. Oh. Blue Lady. Now whistles here, and I believe one of the Raider linemen might have been moving. Ball start. Offense. Oh man, that just makes sense. That's gonna set him back five yards. All right, they're gonna try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Back to throw. And this is intercepted. And, this one's over. and that should do it. Picked up by Josh Jackson. And his guys are going to take over at the 21 yard line. Obviously disappointing, but you had to go for broke here, down two scores. So that forced you to make some throws you definitely wouldn't want to make. And I think this interception is going to pretty much write an end to this one. The Packers looking to get out of here with a win as they take the knee. Well, partner, even though my phone alarm failed me this morning and I missed our AM workout, we still made it through this thing together, didn't we? Well, you always know I need extra workouts just to keep oh, up with you, so it doesn't matter. But thanks for sharing a boot, and thanks for being our quarterback. Yeah, you're the quarterback. Always a pleasure, my friend.
So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us Guys, out at EA Sports. Next game will be Super, Super and with Bowl that, three we sign off between from the Miami. Baltimore Colts, even though they'll be Indianapolis in the game, but the Baltimore Colts and the New York Jets. So that's going to be a good one. That's a wrap, guys.